Good morning, my lovelies. I'm gonna to talk to you about brushes today. These are my go-to brushes. I've got an angled brush that I actually use for uh, just my brows only. That's all I use that for generally. But it does come in handy if you're putting, applying like a liner, a shadow liner as well. But one of, you know, you don't need a heap of brushes. Like I've got four or five there. Look, you know, you could even get rid of that one too. I would say those would be your essentials. That one's just a nice to have. So uh, I've got a couple of different blending brushes. Uh, I generally will use two colors, not all the time, but some, you know, quite often I'll use two different colors. So I want two different blending brushes. You all know that my little broken one, can't even tell you which, oh, hold on, does it say what it is? Cosmetica. It's a double-ended brush that's broken and uh, that's a Cosmetica brand. That's a Kmart, one of those Kmart sets. Uh, and this was like online, so uh, I don't spend an awful lot of money on expensive brushes because uh, sometimes I don't use it brushes either, so I'll use my hands to apply my makeup. So just thought I'd tell you, go through something different today. So it's Nana, Nana weekend. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have my boys. So I am just getting ready to spend the day with my grandsons and uh, I've got them until tomorrow. So I don't wanna be doing fancy schmancy makeup because I'm actually uh, gonna be staying the night at their house as well. So just something really simple, nothing too complicated, but I do wanna do a pretty lip. And I'm using two different hydromats. I'm using, let me just put my reading glasses on applied vocals on now I've done my eyes I'm using velvet and honey nude so the velvet is going to be an outer liner and then the honey nude is going to be inside and I'm going to use a little bit of hot chocolate just on the outer edge of my eye there so I've got my glowify that I've blended up my crease line you can see those tiny little dots in the corner that's all I'm going to do just that and then just round and round and round and round and round. There we go. I'll just lift that up, blend that up past my crease line. Just up kind of there. There we go. You can actually get to see the colour now once I open my eye. Okay. Because if I didn't blend that up, you wouldn't see it. It would just get caught in that corner. So just, I'm just going to, there we go. Just really, really simple. So let's do the same this side. So I'm dab, dab, dabbing, stippling, and then just round around on the spot because I don't want to be blending it across my eyelid. Now I open my eye and then blend up there. There you go. Now I will use, actually now because I've just prompted myself, I might just use that for a little bit of liner just a tiny bit you can see I've just done the outer edge I'm not taking it all the way through and I'm just doing that side as well just just to widen my eyes because I do have hooded small hooded eyes I'm noticing that a little bit more as I age but we won't talk about that actually I don't care we can't talk about that I'm not not shy so remember because I've been using this for a while I'm just rotating the wand inside the container to coat to coat the brush that I'm going to use and then here we go now up and remember there's that sweeping down sweeping up to coat the top and bottom of your lash I'm going to do the same here That's the bottom and that's the top, so sweeping up and down. I seem to be doing a lot better with the mascaras at the moment, so I'm kind of thinking it could be I have too much product on the wand. So now, because I've been using this every day for months now, um, there's obviously not as much mascara, so I'm obviously loading. This is how we learn, right? I'm loading too much on the wand when the product's new. 
There we go. There we go. The just a really light covering on the lower lashes because as I blink whilst the like this with the mascara still being wet it will transfer now little tricksy now guys you don't have to do this like I'm doing this because you know I, I like playing with makeup I've got a little bit of time before I pick up the boys so um, where's my seeing glasses so I can see what I'm doing now that I've done my eyes I've kind of learned because I've been doing this every day for a while I've learned how to do my eyes relatively quickly too, right? Because I was talking to someone saying, oh, I couldn't do that. Yeah, you can. It's just practice. It's just practice. So, this is quite a dark colour. So, I'm just going to... Outline my lip there. And here. There we go. So that's the outline done in velvet. What I'm then going to do is put nude honey on the inside of my lips. Here. There you go. So I find with my lips, I'm going to just now use a brush. There you go. I find for my lips, one coat is enough because I generally apply it quite quickly. You're meant to do two thin layers, Susie does. Just one layer. And I'm ready to go. So there you go. I haven't actually put my backdrop. I've just realised I've not put my backdrop in. You can see the back of my house. Ooh. Look. Ooh. Ooh. Anywho, guys, this is my day today. Nana duties. Uh, you may see me tomorrow. You may not. If I'm not on, I will actually post about eyeshadow colours for you. And then I think after I've finished that little series, I'm going to talk about skincare. Uh, because to get this look and for the makeup, to get the best out of my makeup, my skin's got to be good. Okay, and my skin's only good because of the products that I'm using. So I'll just, I'll take you through that as well. But anywho, so relatively simple look. Uh, no blush on today. I've just got a statement lip and just a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a smoky look on the eye today so there you go have a beautiful day everybody i'm going to because i've got two little men that i love that i'm spending the day with uh, and as always be beautiful